Mm. All right, here we go. From Mobile, Alabama, Will Kimbro. Hello, Mr. Eldon. How you doing? Man, I'm quite good. Well, that's good, man. You're busy. I'm busy. In your face. I'm all dumbfounded, stubborn as an ass, sharp as an arrow in a pile of glass. I'm a sweetheart, genius, reckless jerk, said, Lord, have mercy, what a piece of work. Well, so what is it about Alabama that brings out iconoclastic musicians into our world? There are a lot. You might be thinking of Hank Williams or the Leuven Brothers or Emmy Lou Harris or Nat King Cole. What is Alexander it? Wilson Pickett? It goes on and on. Um, I was going to say the list is so long we couldn't wouldn't have time. We but have half of it now. Yeah. <laughs> it may be that it's that it's not under anybody's watchful eye. You know, after uh, Governor Wallace got all the attention, that's all anybody ever thought about Alabama. That and football. And um, I think even when people go to the beach there, they think they're in Florida. Most people are like, I've been through there on the way to Florida. And you're like, right, where'd you go? Orange Beach? Okay. <laughs> so you probably get that feel more in Mobile than you do anywhere else, maybe? Well, Mo- yeah, Mobile's the coast, so you get that ca- Mardi Gras party, and it's not quite as, um, you know, Baptist. and You can dance down there and chew gum and all that good stuff. <laughs> well, the Lord made me on the long, thin limb. Make sure I remember him or her in the middle of a long dark night. Creation crazy, death sheet white. Made in the image of a line shot lamb. I am who the hell I am. Ever better, bad to worse, down to the letter. Peace out. Well, I started playing in bands when I was 12 and playing at the skating rinks in Mobile where they had a band every Saturday night. Two different skating rinks. You had two gigs from age 12 on. You could alternate Saturday nights. That's pretty good. <laughs> I've always had a gig. <laughs> Did you ha- have to holler out "Ladies' Choice" and we had to do the hokey pokey? Had and to every- do all of that. Everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all those girls with those little black wide tooth combs sticking out of their back oh, pockets yeah. with, with like fair faucet hair. Yeah. Yep. Now, loves baby soft. I call it the Love's Baby Soft years. <laughs> I had me a big old afro back then. <laughs> I can, did I, did I, you do that? I had an afro just because sheer humidity. <laughs> well, I no went and what had I it did, done. I had an afro. I was an idiot. I went and had it done. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't even need to have it done, but I had it done. I had the pick and the whole thing. That's beautiful. Yeah. So then, who was it that that really, just pick one, what was the one, who was the one artist that really made you think, I want to play music, even when you were 12? Bruce Springsteen. No kidding. Yeah. We had a radio station in Mobile that was playing Born to Run, and then he came and played a 1,000-seat theater two nights in a row. The first night was my 12th birthday, and I got a guitar and a $4.56 ticket to see Springsteen. And then he played the next night, but my parents weren't going to spring for two $4.50 tickets. <laughs> and, you know, when a $15 guitar. So I, I got a guitar, and I went to see Springsteen play the Born to Run tour. You know, and I'm like, okay. I f- wow. I'm a piece of work. I'm an angel fiend. I've been bathed in lavender and gasoline. Scared, brave, shallow, in the ink black well. Lightly brown in the fires of the hell. Wicked, holy, full on fake, best known for my big mistake. I'm sin wise, peaceful, gone berserk. I said, Good God Almighty, what a piece of work. All right, well, we can fast forward if you want. Uh, let's do it. <laughs> and then I'm still in two bands of my own. I'm in a band called Daddy, and I'm in a band called Willie Sugar Caps that has a brand new record. But to me, it's just the opportunity to keep doing it 
And maybe I'm still rebelling against when I moved to Nashville and got a record deal, and they told me only one guy in the band can sing lead. And I was like, what about the Beatles and the Stones and right. the Kinks and the Who? I just don't care. I spent all morning pulling out my hair. Woke at dawn with a crazy spin. Half the day trying to glue back. I want to have Willie Sugarcaps back yeah. in the Thacker Chronicles. You think we can make that happen? Because Absolutely. I do want to talk about that because it's a, a super group. Yeah. It's it's you. It's Grayson Caps, one of my favorites. Yeah. Corky Hughes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sugarcane Jane, I've just recently come to know yeah. her basically through Willie Sugarcaps, yeah. and she's wonderful. Yeah. And her husband, Anthony Crawford, yeah. one of the biggest wing nuts on the planet. Yeah, you're right. We all go back to Anthony yeah. in Nashville and yeah. in the day, you know, and running up and a, down Elliston with yeah. Anthony. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd what like a, to have and, you and, guys and back. And Anthony and I, every, like I was saying, that band has such a shared experiences, and we just all happen to be from, most of us are all from the same spot in Alabama, the same greasy little spot down there. And, <laughs> <laughs> and Anthony's from Birmingham, but he's resettled with, with you know, with Savannah and Sugarcane Jane, and we're doing the whole thing down there, and uh, everybody's got families. It's the most, I don't know what, the, we, our rule is that the answer, sh- we should try to make the answer be yes. Right. Sick boy, I've been cloth cap, caviar, and corduroy all over the map, just lost in space with a belt in mind and a quiet boy's face. Heels up, head down, straight on through. Watch out, woman, I'm gonna get to you. I'm a gladiator with the mind to her. Come on. appreciate you coming in man love you a ton i love you too brother all right (laughs) will kimbrough yes musician songwriter singer extraordinaire